Hey folks, this is going to be the second half, kind of, of installing the balance shaft assembly. Um, I've already done this, but I kind of had to split it up because we just had too much video to put into one video. I'm trying to keep these in, in, in the 10 to 15 minute range and um, not have them go on for hours. Because I realize people don't have time to sit down and watch an hour long video a lot of times. So... Um, we're going to get the balance shaft assembly uh, torqued down to the motor. Um, it's got all these different size bolts. They all had different uh, torque specifications. They all had different angles that they had to be turned after they were torqued. There was a torque sequence, so you know you had to change fasteners and torque wrenches in within the torque sequence. It was really crazy, but we got it done before the Loctite set up so enjoy the video alright so I've got the uh, crank all torqued back in there everything's good and happy everything spins nice and free uh, I'm all, all good with it so uh, what we're ready to do now is get this balance shaft assembly put back on uh, I've got all my parts laid out over here, I'll show you. Alright, so I've got my uh, oil pump laid out here. You see how the oil pump works as this little thing spins and squeezes the, the oil out of here. This out part actually spins too. It pumps it in one side and out the other. Um, the oil pump's just like clean and perfect. I'm not replacing it. The balance shaft chain tensioner does have a couple of minor you know, it has a minor little bit of wear to it. It's fine. Um, I got all my bolts laid out. I got my sprocket. I've got my sprocket bolt that I had to go get from the junkyard. Um, so everything's ready to go. And I got my instructions all set up here. So, but basically, you just gotta put it on here and get all these bolts put in and torqued down. Um, there's a whole bunch of different size bolts and um, there's a torque pattern for all of them um, and a torque specification and a degree specification so and every bolt's a different size and has a different torque and degree spec on it so it's going to be a fun one to kind of put this all back in here and then we'll get our tensioner put back on and then on the tensioner, we have to set, we have to adjust the uh, clearance on the tensioner for the timing for the balance shaft chain. So uh, we also have to have this special tool right here. That is the balance shaft tool because this has to be put back in time. This holds the balance shaft in a certain spot, and while we get the engine in the right spot. And put everything back in order so let's go through this a little at a time okay so first i'm gonna get my dowel pin out that the machine shop made get that bad boy put in and uh set down in there what i'm gonna do is just put a little lock tight on the bottom of this to kind of help hold it down in there i don't think it'll flip around or anything but I'm just I want it to be in there nice and tight and secure if possible like this one all right so here is our balance shaft chain if I can get it up out of here there we go we get our balance shaft chain right here. Just fold that over right there for now. And set our balance shaft assembly on the top. Yeah, I did not take the bolt that's under the screen here out. There is a bolt if you pop the screen out, and this whole balance shaft assembly will come apart. Um, I did not take the balance shaft assembly apart. Nothing wrong with it. I'm just going to 
and let it be. Um, but I want to make sure that my chain is kind of up here above this part so it's not getting wedged in there. We're ready to go ahead and get these bolts in. Um, you know, there's just, you just kind of got to go through. There's this one big bolt here. Let's chamfer it away for some oil. Get by it. Let me do that. Now, the one thing that we have to do is look at our instructions because our instructions tell us that we're going to apply the GM part number United States blah 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 what that is equivalent to is red Loctite so uh, is it Bruce Hill? I think asked me are you going to Loctite those crank bolts? well it didn't call for it and I think I said it doesn't call for Loctite anywhere I was incorrect it does call for some Loctite on these bolts on the balance shaft assembly housing. So we'll go ahead and put a little Loctite on these guys as we put them in. Alright, so now I'm going to need a whole bunch of different size sockets. Some of these are inch pounds, some foot pounds. It shows us our torque season. So Titan fasteners, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 to 15, uh, or 11 foot pounds plus 40 degrees. So, 1 is already in. I never took it out. So we're going to go 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's basically all these here. These two don't count. Oh my gosh, look at all these different size fasteners. I feel like I'm working on a Chrysler. Try to get it done before the Loctite sets up. <laughs> Two, so two goes to 11 foot pounds. I've got my wrench set to 11 foot pounds. Crap, I'm dropping another socket. And then four, it's this one. I don't do three yet. Oh no, I have to do three in order. But three goes to 89 inch pounds. That's this one. Okay, so now number four will be this one. Okay, and then number five will be this one. Okay, then number six is this one. Okay, then number seven is this one. Number eight is this one, but it's a ten. Okay. So now, now I'm going to angle these all 40 degrees. Alright, so now I just got to get all of these set where we want them. That's two. And then three is going to be up here. That's an eight millimeter. So I got this here for it. Okay, it's that one. Now right here. Okay, so that's all those bolts. Now I gotta do the outside bolts. Alright, so now we gotta do these bolts. There's three different torque specs and three different size bolts. 20 is there. So I'll back off 2. It gives me 18. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten these up in order. So this is number 1.
Christmas? No. No. I'm just kidding. Well, give me back that toy. Nope. All right, so that's 30 foot pounds. So now I got to go back to number four, which is going to be uh, 18 foot pounds. <laughs> And then number five, which is here, that one has to go to 39 foot pounds. There's 40 foot pounds, take it back one. So now I gotta angle these all in, and they're different angles. I got 70 degrees, 60 degrees, and this one does not have a second stage. It just stays at 39 foot pounds. Okay, so now I'm ready to have some fun here. So here's one. Okay, this one's gonna be two. This one here will be three, and it's gonna go to 60 degrees. Okay, so. <laughs> This one's going to be 60 degrees. Let's set it up here. And I'm going to change back over to a different socket. And the 5 doesn't get any additional degrees. It just goes 39 foot pounds. Alright. Balance shaft assembly is bolted on and torqued down. That is a bit of an accomplishment, actually. <clears throat> so I'll probably end this video here. In the next video, we'll get the oil pump put on, and we'll get the chain and everything set up and get this balance shaft assembly all in time. Hey, Dad, can I show my Legos? Yep, yeah, you can show them some Legos. I have this SpongeBob from the um, movie, uh, I think it was called Out of Water. Yeah, speak up. They can hear you over that heater. Oh. I have the um, SpongeBob from the, um, the SpongeBob movie um, Out of Water. Okay. Yeah. Show, show him the bow. And uh, he's also holding a plate, a clean plate, and um, some soap. Okay. Here is the mayonnaise jar. It's tiny. Can I see? Here are the milk shakes. The uh, green, the white, and the, the green, the strawberry, and the pink. Alright. Cool. And it can also transform into a restaurant, like a movie. Alright, I'll show them how it transforms into a restaurant. Okay. Transforms into the home of the bearded burger. Beard burgers. Oh, beard burgers. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, folks. <laughs> we'll be back on the next video and get the rest of this bottom end hopefully buttoned up and be ready to do an oil pan. I'll talk to y'all later. It's Tom, Frugal Prepper. Everybody, be happy and frugal out there. Subscribe.